everyone, my name is Nadia and today I'm very excited to have this opportunity to share with you the latest research which we conducted in marketing science team. So, uh, over the last two years, uh, we spent a lot of time on trying to really understand what are the underlying mechanisms of TikTok, what makes TikTok so special, and what, is the, what are the unique opportunities for advertisers on TikTok platform. I think all of us can agree that TikTok is no longer a new kid around the block. Our user base is growing, and what is most importantly is the time consumers spend on our platform is also growing. Basically meaning that consumers on our platform are really leaning in and having this engaged experience. So, before I start talking about our latest research in the area of attention, I would just like to step back a little bit and think what is going on in the industry right now. I think we spent quite a lot of time today in really observing different trends and uh, how it's evolving in the industry. But I think there is one important point to highlight today, is that consumers are spending more and more time online. And there is really a competition for this time. So consumers spend time online both at work and during their free time. And that creates this overall clutter because at the same time there is also continuous positive trend uh, in terms of the digital spend. So all this creates a clutter and what the most challenging for advertisers, what it means, is that it's really difficult to grab consumers' attention. But also what is also important is to build in long-term, trustful, lasting relationships. And this is especially challenging for Gen Z consumers. We know that, and this is something that has been shared already today, that it's really difficult to reach our younger audience. It's really challenging to build this long-term connection with them. And this is something that we really wanted to understand with our latest research, which I want to share with you today. So, we conducted a study in the UK, uh, and it's been an in-lab experiment with 300 respondents aged 18 to 45. And for this experiment, we created three mock-up environments. So, we tested TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. And basically how it looked like. Consumers came on uh, in-lab, and uh, they had experience with one of these uh, mock environments. So they browsed uh, for videos, basically watching both UGC content, so content which is created uh, by creators on our platform, but also they were watching some ads which we embedded into this content. And what we see? So first of all, uh, we see that consumers on TikTok platform spend more time, uh, sorry, this one. Uh, consumers on TikTok platform spend more time watching ads while they're playing. So actually 75% of the time consumers spend on the platform are watching ads in comparison with 45%. So this is a statistically significant difference where we see that actually ads on the platform really effective in grabbing consumers' attention. What we also see specifically when we start going more into details of the uh, ads and how they are effective in attracting attention is that uh, consumers are uh, looking at the products in ads on TikTok 41% faster than on other platforms on average. And I think this is really related with the key fundamentals of TikTok platform. So as uh, you can see here, what is really special on TikTok as a platform in general that is definitely sound on full screen experience so that makes consumers to lean in. It also an experience where entertainment is a key part of our DNA. Actually one of the latest studies showed that consumers, 75% of consumers come on TikTok to be entertained. So again, this is showing why consumers really spend uh, more attention on the videos. And what is also important that this platform creates this overall engaging experience 
which is driven by creators on our platform, but also providing the space for consumers to really express themselves and to consider the platform as a source of creativity and inspiration. And this is why we see the strong results where it really allows us the key fundamentals which allows us to really drive consumers' attention, both to advertising leverage and specifically to the product. What I think is also interesting here is that consumers on TikTok platform are six percentage points uh, difference between uh, watching on the product, so like more consumers see ads on TikTok platform versus other platforms on average. So it's really, again, showing this engaging experience and then consumers are really leaning in and really observing the ads and the details of these ads. And this is what we see in terms of the overall attention. Let's now have a look on uh, what we learned from the follow-up surveys. So after this experiment, then consumers had this experience with the mock uh, environment. We also had a series of follow-up surveys. So the first questionnaire was right after the experience, and then we had a series of similar surveys in the week one, two, and three. And this is what we learned uh, in terms of the uh, brand recall in week three, so a longer term effect, that actually 71% of TikTok users remembered a brand three weeks after watching an ad on TikTok platform. And I think it's, again, very much related with the nature of the platform, with this overall experience which consumers are getting here. And what we see from one of the latest studies as well is that 73% of TikTok consumers say that they, the platform provides them opportunity to build deeper connection with brands in comparison with other apps and other uh, websites. So it's really about building this connection, building this uh, community where consumers really feel engaged and connected with brands. Another very important point which I want to share with you today. So we saw this strong results on the attention side and we saw also strong results on the brand side. But what, the one of the key questions which we really wanted to answer is whether there is any connection between attention on the platform and long-term brand building. And this is what we see. So in terms of the results, here you can see on the left uh, attention to product and the liability of an ad. And you can see attention to brand and again the liability on the ad. And we see uh, for TikTok platform, which is in the green, and other platforms on average in pink, that there is a statistically significant difference in this positive trend, which we see between um, attention on the platform and long-term uh, effect in terms of the liability of the ad. So it's really, really strong result. And I want to highlight here is that we've seen this positive relationship only for TikTok platform. So, and I think this uh, trend line also uh, shows it visually. So I think this is very important point for us to keep in mind. Just before I finish, I would like to see uh, to share with you a couple more stats, which I think are really unlocking the idea of this long-term brand building effect. So what we also see in terms of, so before we saw the localability of the ad, and we see that this localability to the ad actually spans over the locality of the brand. So a half of TikTok, so for TikTok users, brand localability three weeks after ad exposure is 50% while for other platforms it's 44. So we again see statistically significant difference. And this localability to the brands spans over brand favorability. So again, in three weeks time, we see this prolonged effect, which uh, is statistically significant only for TikTok platform, while we don't see any difference for other platforms. So just to summarize, in terms of the, what it all means for you as advertisers and how you can benefit from this. On TikTok platform, brands have an opportunity to create these long-term relationships where consumers, have a, uh, consumers who pay attention to the ads on TikTok platform, really building this long-term connection with the brand. 
And that means that advertisers have an opportunity to be always on, always engaged, and leverage this community effect and leverage this attention on the platform for their brand building activities, especially for the upper funeral objectives. Thank you. Nadia, very good. You've, got, you've I've left the, uh, the, the, the... Do you have time for questions, Nadia? Do you, do you, so, um, uh, so, Dr. Mozoroa, um, and congratulations on your successful defence of Thank your you. uh, PhD. Um, one of the questions that we've had again and again is the study you did um, was uh, about going beyond attention to look at uh, other aspects of brain activity and... The, is this something that you think um, other brands can do, or, or do you have to be of the scale and, uh, and size of TikTok um, to be able to do the, the sort of studies that you're talking about? Uh, do you mean in terms of the advertisers on the platform or other platforms? Well, given that we've, we've heard from Mars and we've heard from TikTok, you are huge companies. I mean, and it's astonishing that TikTok has become such a huge company. Is it? But do you think that these sorts of approaches are available to smaller players, or do you have to have the resources of TikTok to be able to do a, a study as, as successful and, and conclusive as yours? I think there are definitely different ways to do eye tracking and attention research in general. So, of course, we also have partnership with you where we are working on more scaled up solutions. So for this specific case, we really wanted to uh, go in depth and really understand what it means, attention on our platform for the brand building activity and how it enables these uh, upper funeral metrics. And this is the beginning of the journey. Uh, so this time we looked on the upper funeral metrics, but right now we have a work where we are going down the funeral. So we also want to see how our attention on the platform is related uh, with lower funeral metrics. So we already saw some positive indications in the frames of this study, but now we want really to go under skin of uh, attention and lower funeral metrics and see what are the key benefits for advertisers on the platform. Fantastic. With at lunchtime, just before lunchtime, Andy Brown from um, the Attention Council was saying what, we, what we're really looking to do is not just um, understand if this works in practice, but also if it works in theory. Um, and it looks like TikTok is doing the work of everybody else to, to exactly work out that theory and, and, to, and to, to do the, the deep scientific uh, work that can really uh, give people confidence. So we, we are in your debt. Thank you very much for, for sharing this. and, and, and Guys, uh, uh, Nadia from, uh, uh, from TikTok, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.